Thank you. Thank you very much once again. Let me welcome you back to this channel. Ensure that you are hitting the subscription button and ensure that you are sharing to those who are concerned. And then today, a uh, grade 11s, I'm going to plead to you. I'm going to ask you uh, two things. The first aspect that I want to uh, ask you, it is to listen to this video up until the end of the presentation. And the second aspect is that I uh, having now a privileges of joining uh, the membership. So if ever you are uh, joining uh, the membership, uh, you are having the privileges of asking uh, any question, any notes uh, to be sent to you directly on your email address and also uh, on your devices, it can be your smartphone. So once you have joined the membership, good people, uh, you are going to be asking any video that you want to be recorded. All right. So in this case, uh, we are going to be talking about this topic, which is called the excretion in humans. So what is it that we understand about uh, the weight excretion? It is to uh, take out unwanted waste products, to take out the, uh, out, uh, the unwanted uh, waste products. So we are saying that is uh, what we call human excretion. So we are having uh, many unwanted products uh, in our body. Uh, so we are saying those must be excreted, number one, by types of uh, urination in terms, to, uh, in terms of urinating, urination. And then we are also having uh, the other one, which is called the sweating. So a person needs to sweat in order to take out something. And then uh, the third one uh, here, it will be through feces. So uh, uh, this shows that these are unwanted excretory products. So we are saying that in this case, uh, we are going to be looking at the subtopic. We are only going to be focusing on uh, the various organs, which they do what? They facilitate. Uh, they facilitate they facilitate what the excretion system so what are those particular organs and what is it that they play in our body to ensure that there is excretion the first point uh, you will be asked in the examination it is to give a definition to define the concept of excretion so you are going to say it is a what? It is a process where all metabolic waste are removed from the body. Then you have your two marks. So you are saying excretion in humans is carried out through different body parts and the internal organs in a series of what? Of a process. So what is it that we learn about this statement? It is that uh, this process, it is a system. So what we know about a system, we say that uh, different organs, they are responsible for this to happen. So we are saying that the excretory waste product, they include what? Carbon dioxide. We don't want carbon dioxide. We rather have what? Oxygen. And number two, water, bile, pigments urea and the mineral salts so these need to be excreted on our body therefore we are having a different organs all right so in moving on uh, we are going to be looking at uh, the excretory organs so these excretory organs and their waste are excreted a uh, product so we are saying that the waste product we are going to talk about now, the lung is an organ. So please take note that a lung is a what? Is an organ. So we are asking ourselves that what is a lung do? It does what? It uh, carries carbon dioxide and what? And water vapor. So 
it allows this to happen. And where does it originate? That is an origin. It originates from cellular respiration, which is also called the breathing system. So on how we are breathing. All right. So we know that we are taking out a carbon dioxide is out. And then we inhale oxygen. So oxygen goes in. So we can see that we are saying, talking about what is it that is excreted by the lungs. It is in carbon dioxide and water that is inhaled in the air. So the second one we are going to talk about now, the skin, which now uh, is excreting or the sweat glands excrete the hormones for the skin to do, to, so to do what? To dilate and also to release. So we are saying the skin releases a mineral salts, traces of urea and water. The origin, where does it originate? It is extracted from the blood. And what does it excrete? It excrete precipitation in a form of sweat. So that is the second organ. The third organ is called the liver. So it's responsible in ensuring that there is a, a excretion of a urea. And then we are saying that a, the origin, it is a deamination of excess amino acids. So remember, when we are talking something that has excess, we talk about something that has extra amino acid. So remember that uh, the word amino acid, so amino acid that is a monomere or the building block, we call it the monomer of what? Of protein. So remember that concept. So we are saying that uh, it is ex excreted through what? Through feces. That is what we need to understand. All right. Then we are having the other one, which is, uh, we say that the waste product is a bile pigmentation under the a liver. And we are saying that it is breaking down hemoglobin. Number four, we have the colon. So we are saying it excrete bile pigmentation and excess mineral salts. So we are saying it does that from breaking down or the origin of it is breaking down of hemoglobin in the liver. And then it is excreted through feces. In moving on, we are now having the kidney, number five. And then we are saying uh, the kidney releases urea, mineral salts, and water. So where does it originate? That is a deamination of excess amino acids in the liver. And then there is an excess uh, taken within uh, the food. And there is an excess, which is an extra water that is consumed and taken as food, which forms part and parcel of what we call nutrient. So this is a nutrient. And then we are saying the process is through urine by urination. All right. So the last part, good people, you are going to answer. I want you to answer this question and send me the answer on our comment section. All right, then activity number one or question number one, it says, identify the accessory glands labeled number one to number five. So accessory glands, these are extra glands which helps the breathing system to okay or be facilitated. So you need to give label number one to label number five. Give me the answer on the what? On the comment section so that I can mark your work on the comment section thank you very much for your time and thank you very much for tuning on ensure that you are hitting the subscription button and ensure that you are sharing to those who are concerned thank you for your time